We begin in Northwest Indiana this half hour with new details on the rescue of a driver who says he was trapped for six days after veering off the highway. Two fishermen stumbled onto the wreck just after Christmas, and now we're hearing their call to 911. WGN's Christine Flores has more. Good evening. I spoke with two firefighters and their incident commander, all of whom were on scene the day of the rescue. And while they say they are happy to have played a small part in saving the driver's life, they say the real credit goes to the two fishermen. The details of everything just make this so much more special than a normal call because it is truly miraculous. I mean, this guy's will to live is second to none. That's how Battalion Chief Chris Crail describes a miraculous rescue from Tuesday afternoon. We came across uh, heavy terrain, uh, rocks that lid down to the ravine. Um, we knew right away it was going to be heavy extrication, um, so we knew we had a, a task at hand. Firefighter paramedic Mike Durak was one of the first crews on scene as part of Engine 2. With this call specifically, um, we we wouldn't have even imagined that someone was trapped on there for six days. Firefighter paramedic Jordan Busey was also on scene that day along Interstate 94 in Portage, even talking with 27-year-old Matt Rim, who was trapped inside of his vehicle. He was actually uh, very highly spirited throughout the entire event. I knew that he had been down there since the 20th, um, even indicated that he had been writing a journal uh, while he was down there, he was able to access a notepad and pay, uh, pen. Crail points out Rem's will to live. And looking back on our calls of service, uh, we had been on 94 within that six day time frame a couple times driving over top of that bridge. So he had heard sirens coming and going and, you know, just the mentality of thinking they're coming and we don't go there for him. All of them giving credit to the two fishermen who spotted the truck and whose curiosity led them to REM. I'm just really happy to see that he's in great hands and he's made it to uh, a fantastic hospital. He's here today. If the weather was our typical December weather, I'm not too sure that, you know, the outcome would have been the same. Firefighters remind you to have essentials in your vehicle in case of an emergency, things like a blanket, water, and snacks. Now, as far as Rem, at last check, he was still recovering in the hospital after having part of his left leg amputated. Reporting in Porter, Christine Flores, WGN News.